I'm losing my mind in this city right now. I am trying to drown out the sounds of like the construction, the people, the cars, the highway, my own thoughts. I'm trying to drown that out with like music in my ears, but I can still hear the noise. I can hear this constant drilling. And I was about to enter through the front entrance of my building. There's this like cloud of smoke. They're like fucking sawing into the concrete. And this cloud of smoke is like over my front entrance way to my building. I had to turn around and go to the back entrance. Guys, I'm losing my mind right now. <sighs> this has been me for the past like, honestly, like a couple months, especially since I learned that I'm on the autism spectrum. I can't, I can't do it. I don't even have like noise canceling enough headphones to drown out the sounds and like glasses to like shield me. Like I still, like I literally need to go somewhere where I feel safe. I don't feel safe here. I wanted to like bring my salad that I bought to the park, but I started to feel nauseous from all the overstimulation and the people. And I just like, I thought I was gonna throw up. So I came back home and I'm just gonna eat my salad here. I've had like so many panic attacks over the course of like a month, you guys. So many just like mental breakdowns of like overstimulation. I don't know what exactly they're called, but just like, I'm not doing okay. But I'm also doing okay at the same time. I feel like healing is so multi-dimensional, right? You're healing, you're hurting, you're happy. I saw this quote and I posted it on my podcast Instagram and it was like, you can be happy, hurting, and healing all at the same time. And that's what I feel like I'm doing. Like I'm simultaneously going insane, but I'm also simultaneously like blooming into my authentic self and like working through shit and traumas and like my body dysmorphia. Even this jumpsuit, like this is too tight. It's too tight. I just feel like, ugh, so uncomfortable. You know when you just like feel so uncomfortable in your body that you just wanna like crawl out of your skin? That is how I'm feeling right now. I think I'm just gonna stay home today. It's too overwhelming out there. Good thing is, I bought myself a salad. Look how beautiful it looks. <sighs> Everything's okay. Everything is okay. Everything will be okay. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just like, I'm just, I'm trying to look for the positive. I'm trying to focus on <sighs> what I'm grateful for. My favorite salad from Fresh. <laughs> I really need to move out. <laughs> I really need to move from here. My nervous system like is like, on, I'm in fight or flight mode basically. I just want to feel safe and like okay. Oh my god, you guys, today has been a roller coaster of a day. So here's what happened. I'll give you the tea. I've been crying on the ground for the past hour. So we're about to move out into this beautiful bungalow in another town that's quiet and far from here. But they just passed on our offer, even though they said that we were like the best candidates. But they wanted an elderly couple. And they don't even have another offer and they're just waiting. They're just waiting. <laughs> that or they're homophobic. They're ageist or they're homophobic. Whatever the fuck. It wasn't meant for us. 
I'm just like, what now? What now? Do we stay here? Do we try and find another place? Do we just like wait until we get like my green card approved to go to the States? Like, <sighs> but I guess we're gonna be here for a little while longer. And it's not that it's bad. It's not that this, there's nothing wrong with this apartment. I love this apartment. It's just Toronto is a lot for me right now, especially being autistic. Um, so <laughs> if you know of any ways to stay sane in a city whilst having autism, let me know. <laughs> Cause I would love to know. I think I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna like lay in bed for the rest of the day until, cause it's Halloween by the way. We're going to do like trivia or something later with my friends. So I might just lay around until, until that happens because I just used up all of my energy uh, crying. So that's the update. <laughs> But you know what? It wasn't meant for us and I just have to accept that like, you know, we could have dodged a bullet We could have literally been in such a bad situation, but it didn't happen because the universe prevented us from happening So whatever is meant for us will never pass us by and I truly believe that and uh, just pray for my mental health <laughs> I just need mental health help <laughs>